Good morning, you two. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. Sorry we didn't have a video on Wednesday, but uh, this video takes a while to film and potentially edit. We are showing you, at long last, all our holdbacks from 2023. Uh, so jumping right into it, starting off with a bang. This is not only our first holdback of 2023, this is one of my favorite snakes I have ever produced. Um, I'm gonna let her lay down here and get some footage without my hand. This is a female Wookiee Blackhead. Obviously, a two gene combo is not gonna impress some people and I don't care, I love it. Two of my all-time favorite jeans. I am a much bigger fan of the dark combos like this than uh, brighter stuff, although I do love some of the bright stuff too, of course. And uh, yeah, just behold the dark gooey goodness. Look at uh, the Wookiee outlining the alien heads and that amazing just extra black ring. Um, how just much dark bra blacks and browns and the Wookiee still trying to bring that light color up the sides as high as it can. Oh, I just love it because these are both two very dark jeans, but that tend to work in very different ways. So together, I think they're just amazing. And that is our first holdback of 2023. Next up, we have another female. This clean and gorgeous little beauty here. She'll come out and say hi. I think is a pastel. I know it's pastel. I know it's desert ghost. I'm extremely confident on yellow belly. And I believe she is also orange dream. So pastel, orange dream, yellow belly, desert ghost. Wow, just look at that, so clean. It's honestly gonna be harder to make a cleaner snake than that. Do you see the perfection in there? There's just nothing marring her color. Now as she ages, her color will intensify thanks to Desert Ghost, but uh, wow, what a beautiful animal. Not fully confident in the orange dream. She's not very orange, but uh, she's so clean and there just seems to be a little bit extra pop to her. I think she's orange dream. Uh, we may test her at some point, but uh, either way, definitely beautiful enough to be a holdback. <laughs> just love this animal. All right, that's number two. Here we have another female. You'll notice there's a lot of females. <laughs> so this is another desert ghost. This is a sister to the other one. Obvious yellow belly. And she's also orange dream. So this is like the last combo but without pastel. We kept this girl just in case there isn't orange dream in that first one. We're much more confident in this one. And clearly not pastel. So here we have an orange dream, yellow belly, desert ghost female. Just exquisite. So beautiful. I'm a big fan of desert ghost and this was really our, our first year making some really cool visual combos. Uh, I've spoken before that I just I did not do the project justice. We got into it like eight years ago, almost nine years ago, and uh, <laughs> just didn't take full advantage. So we're trying to catch up now. I think that these couple of combos are a great start. And we have here, you guessed it, another female. <laughs> this incredible little stunner. I was a little scared. It's okay, little girl. 
is a Calico Spot Nose 100% Het DPI Xanthic 100% Het Pied. And crazy ringers going on. The, the interaction between Spot Nose and Calico, I never would have guessed. <laughs> I had never looked up pictures of them if they've been made, which I assume they have. But uh, just look at that crazy interaction going on what a cool snake look at that spot nose head those calico sides double head xanthic pied and i know spot nose pieds are, are very high white but uh that's okay calico pieds are amazing and we might add in some anchi or pinstripe or something to bring in more pattern um but wow couldn't not keep this curl. Before I go into the genetics of this one, I do want to mention we also kept just a calico double het azanthic pied female, uh, but we she's in shed, um, so I'm not pulling her out right now. But uh, so we kept two females. One of them was calico spot nose, like you just saw, and one of them is just a calico. This is our first male. Yay! <laughs> this is a pastel wookie het citrus ghost so uh, a few things about this snake we have two adult female citrus ghosts that's a recessive trait very 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 underutilized in the hobby and it is not a lion of hypo uh shouldn't be called citrus ghost or citrus hypo but it is so we just got to live with it but um we, again, had this gene in our collection for a very long time. And the only combo we ever made with it was a banana citrus ghost. And it looked exactly like a banana. <laughs> so, oh, sorry, I spooked him with my laugh. This little guy is our first attempt to get some new genes into citrus ghost. And I would almost guarantee that they will be the first time ever made. Because just people aren't working with citrus ghost. It's beautiful. It's a wonderful gene. I love Wookie, love pastel, so can't go wrong. So once this guy's old enough, he'll be breeding back to a visual citrus ghost, and we should hopefully get some combos. And back to females. <laughs> this absolutely insane snake, I think, is a GHI Mojave pastel yellow belly desert ghost uh am i 100 percent certain of all that no i am not <laughs> could i test most of that yes i could the blue-eyed lucy complex has been fully mapped desert ghost uh yellow belly so we could test for a lot of this i don't think there's a pastel test and i don't think there's a ghi test I could be wrong they're adding new ones all the time but uh wow just look at that snake. So cool. So yeah, three visual desert ghost females were held back this year. What do you guys think of the head? Do you think that do you think that is a pastel? I think it's a pastel. Look at the eye color. I think there's some blue in there. I mean, it's pretty clearly GHI Mojave, I would say. Um, the top of the head is pretty blushed out. I think it's pastel. The color, especially along the spine, tells me it's got to be Desert Ghost. And then looking at the sides, how the, the pattern is really spaced out. Um, and... There's some paleness there. I just, I think it might even be yellow belly. So I, that's my best guess. Let me know if you think I'm crazy. <laughs> but uh, what a snake. Hi, little girl. And I'm going to finish off with this guy. Another male. And uh, not, I'd say I'm 97% sure he's going to be a holdback. <laughs> I think I actually listed him for sale. 
and I just have had second guesses. Every time I open his tub, I love looking at him. So he may stay. Um, this, I really am not certain what he is. I think my very best guess is that he is a mystic. He is a Enchi, Orange Dream, and Flame. That is what I think he's got going on. So no recessives here. Not even het for anything, but uh, really beautiful color and pattern. Um, and I think I'm gonna keep them. I love that, not sure what to call it, that kind of tannish orange looking color that's kind of blushing up almost all the way over the top of him on this part. Just love this snake, really strange pattern. He's a looker. And that is all guys, that is my holdbacks from 2023. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorites are. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I always love doing this video each year. Um, just showing off our hard work and some of these incredible little creatures. All right, that is all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful Christmas break, those of you who are families with people in school. And uh, we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, we're the Reptile Barn.